Welcome guys to part two of making the switch over from Mac to PC. So in today's video, we have a special guest appearance from my roommate Marcos, but is better known as Beaks by the Fortnite and Twitch community. So he's killing it on YouTube right now, just peaked over 250,000 subs, clocking a million views a week. Kid's insane, and he's the one who helped me put together this whole PC and like pick out all the parts and all that good stuff. Today, we are gonna be taking all the parts that we used from the last video, putting it all together, eventually. Give us this beaut right here. So if you guys wanna see all the parts that I'm using to put together this PC, you can check out the last video that I made, part one of the series. You link in that video in the description below and probably annotate a thumbnail like right here, something like that. So before we dive in and start putting the build together, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek and throw a little montage in there, why not? All right, so I got my boy Beeks, oh, yeah. Marcos. We're about to lug all this stuff downstairs and work on it there because you just have the chance of like shocking your equipment, which would destroy it. So it's better to not be on carpet when you build a PC. If, unless you have a shoes. static, unless you have a static band on, but we know static band, so we're gonna be on the hardwood floor. No risk of doing that. So all we're right, good. so we're about to put this thing, bring all these parts down, and assemble it, and then show you the final product. Yeah, let's get this motherboard going. So we got all this stuff. Up out here. I'm about to set up the lights better and get some more aesthetically pleasing shots of this, but yeah, we'll tour the crib. When you take out your motherboard, make sure you ground yourself and ground it. Take it out of the plastic wrap and you're gonna put it on top of the plastic wrap. This is like, this is called a anti-static wrap. You're gonna put it back on top of it because it's not gonna conduct electricity. So you're gonna take out your motherboard and you're gonna go like this, open it up. And you're, we're gonna unbox CPU now. So you're gonna put your CPU right in there, take it out, and all you're gonna do is just pop it in. So just like, and just double check to make sure it's in there. And it looks really good. So now all you do is you place this back on top of it. Stuff, and boom, and that's it. Your processor, your CPU is installed. It's that easy. So now we're gonna throw in the RAM, RAM. some RAM. This is what allows you to open up multiple programs for computer at once. Computer can only handle so much, but 16 gigabytes is more than enough. All right, my big contribution to this. Ah. Right, so you're gonna push down. It's gonna feel kind of hard. So click. We're good. I believe so. There we go. See those nuts back in now. Your RAM has been successfully installed. All right. Next thing is, is we're gonna install the motherboard into the case. Put the case down so we can start putting everything inside it. How do you want to set this down? Um, that's why I got this thing. We can put it on the lower table right there. A little makeshift workshop. This is that good? Yeah, so that baby right there. So you take the motherboard, it's gonna set it in. It's gonna go in this way. Put it in the oven. Yep. Come to the other end. Boom, Ooh. set in, you hear that? We need to install the IO shield first. Forgot about that, so make sure you install the IO shield first thing. I accidentally forgot, but Shit happens and we'll make sure it's good. Push. I gotta get screwed in. Here's clips. Clips in. And the IO shield is installed. Remember how much I pin? There we go. That's a lot more aesthetically Wait. pleasing than before. So the next thing is gonna be screwing it in. So we got the little cardboard box with all the screws and hardware that was inside the, the hard drive. Yeah. Casing. And okay, I, so I what are we doing it. right now? We're taking out the zip ties. We're about to go on gate function. Oh yeah. Here is the manual, sir. Thank you, sir. So right now we're gonna figure out which one's the motherboard screws. Double check it. So you don't put in the wrong screw and fuck up the motherboard. Cause that would really fuck it up. You curse on your channel? Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> I mean, to a certain extent, I'm not dropping f bombs every minute, but like. <laughs> I got how much time until class? It's 401. I gotta leave it. Can we finish the rest of this in 40 minutes, you think? Dude, I don't think so. No? no? Okay, so I'm gonna be late to my first class. There's still a lot to do, man. We just started, really. Kind of broke the ice. Shit. I forgot how long it takes to these. Because it's like you run it's like little problems each time, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we're figuring out where to put the fans. So it's up to you. You have, you have options, right? So you got three more fans, and you have five fans in your case. You can have one fan right here, one fan right here, three fans right here, or you could have two, two, one. Two light up, 
one, like one light up and, a, and then two of these non-RGB fans right here. Yeah, because it's not really gonna show as much here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do the, let's put the fans in real quick then. Thanks. We're gonna remove this, install one fan up here for uh, extra airflow intake. So we're gonna take this fan off right here and put it up here. See the RGB in the back of the case where you can see it. You don't see the RGB on the front. Start taking these off. Make sure the Corsair logo is facing this side so the wind's gonna be blowing this way. So the air comes in this way, exports out of that way. Exports. Exports. <laughs> Here. Like that. All Let's of this it. is gonna be covered by that, so it doesn't really matter if it's lighting because I got a built in light going through it anyway. Yep. Spent a little extra money for the little cool things. If you're gonna get a cool computer like this, you might as well make it look nice. How much does everything cost? All that? This all costed around 1300 1300 and it's gonna be a lot more powerful than my Mac, which I spent like 2700 on. Mac users, cover price soon. See, Windows just needs to make an airdrop feature because that's something I use all the time. So now we're throwing in the RGB fans, get a little color in there. The more fans, the more safer your PC is from heating, right? This is more cool air. Cool air goodness. We're gonna put this cable up here. We're gonna have it route through, through that hole. So you're gonna be able to hide it pretty well. Dope. It's all about that clean cable management. I know you're about that. Yep. Able to do super OC. There we go. We're good. And the first one's always the hardest one again. Alright, getting the top fan in. Okay, so we ended up having <coughs> Oh my god, it's water. Okay. So we had to wrap up the assembly on day one a little bit short because I had to get to class and well, Marcos is just too cool for school and I guess when you're making that much money on Twitch, and education really isn't a priority anymore. So uh, thanks a lot, buddy. Now I'd be doing the exact same thing if I was in his position right now, I'm happy for him. But I'm gonna be bringing in my friend Ariel so it's not just a random switch of change. This is one of my boys who I've been doing a lot of video shoots with here and there at JMU and I think he wants to get into Twitch streaming so gotta connect him and Beaks together. Maybe they can make something happen. I don't know. It's all about connecting friends and surrounding yourself with the right people. So now my boy Ariel's here. He's gonna help me like finish a lot of the builds. Surround yourself with good friends. <laughs> and I'm gonna link his channel in the description below. You should check out his stuff. Really talented videographer, editor as well. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. He's been talking about how good the Switch has been. I thought I would never go back to PC, but after building your own, the amount of money it costs to build something better than a Mac is that's crazy. My whole thing too is, dude, it's like you get a nice thing with a Mac, but you're stuck with it. Yeah. And it's like you can't customize it, you can't add anything yeah, to it. Yeah, you can't upgrade so it in the future. New parts are constantly coming out, getting cheaper. Now we're gonna open up the power supply. I was shooting my short film with Justin. One of the actors knocked over my lens. Oh, fuck. And it's right after I got replaced because when I was filming, um, I was doing a shoot in Atlanta mm -hmm. and like another one of my friends knocked it over and I bought a completely new Sigma. One week after having it, one of the actors like bumped into it when my Ronin was set on the ground. And now I think my autofocus isn't as good as it used to be. It still works, yeah. but like I feel like it was so much better before. But you just learn. I'm super careful whenever I set my camera down now. It's packaged really well. This is really nice. Yeah. This was a relatively like cheap buy too, really, compared to other power supplies. But yeah, modular is definitely going to go. I almost bought a more expensive one to make it white. But this one was cheaper, it's black, and I found out that I can yeah. hide it. Yeah, you, you won't even see it. So I'm fully set, screwed in. Got to unbox CPU cooler. Yeah, there it is. So we got fans right here. Connecting it, then we're gonna throw it on the front of the tower, the place where we had the other fans. And then apparently I have to get a fan, a fan, fan splitter, a fan splitter, so that I can utilize all of them. Slide it in that way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good, we're good, we're good. All right, so we're screwing in the final parts before we throw the front of the case back onto it. My name on Fortnite is Jamie Parking. <laughs> 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 yeah, whenever you get killed, you're like, you were eliminated by JMU parking. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Alright, so just throwing on the dust filter right here. Let's back on. Alright, snaps the 
Okay. And we're good. A little plastic on it. a little satisfying. Okay. Lay it down. Then we're gonna connect this part onto the CPU. And then our CPU cooling will be installed. Do the honors of uh, peeling, the, stick peeling the sticker off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing in the Samsung A60 Evo, one terabyte. A little tight. So now, last unboxing, gonna get out the graphics card and then just connect all the last things to the power supply. Last one. Nope. <laughs> uh... Wow, that looks mean. Got nice white and black skin going on. Super happy about that. Click. There we go. What do you think of the graphics card choice? Dude, this is nice. 1060 to 6 gigabyte. So... Yeah, this is the one you ran, right? Yeah. What are you running now? 1070, so I mean... one up it. one up it, <laughs> not that much of a difference though. I'm gonna put the power supply stuff in now. So this one's good. All right, just moved a lot of stuff out of the way. Just got all the screws in this bag now. Plugging up the last things that go inside the power supply. All right. So we got most of it up and running right now. It's looking good. We only have two fans running as of right now. Motherboard lighting up. Uh, to get the other three fans running, I'm gonna need to get a fan splitter and an RGB splitter as well so I can get the uh, lights on the fans. But for the most part, like we got it all together. Thank you so much, Harry. Yeah, man, no dude. problem. We'll My get that dude. taken care of, brother. The rest of the stuff, just gotta get that fan splitter. I'm either gonna check out Best Buy or order it off Amazon. Probably Amazon. Yeah, I saw Amazon have it on there. I mean, I got mine off of you, Ed, but Amazon will be quicker. All right, so this is pretty much most of the cable management for the back of the computer. Still gotta tighten a few things down. Bring it around. Got the fan splitters in there. Got all five fans running right now. Was thinking about adding a six, but I don't think there's enough room to like throw one in there. So liking the way that's looking, have everything wired through the back ports. We got them wrapped around the CPU cooler and everything just tucked away back here as neatly as we could. Probably could be better, but I'm happy with how it looks. So we're gonna screw this on, show it with the rest of the setup and then install it update for the driver. I have been using it for like two days now. It's been crashing somewhat. I got both screens running because apparently with this graphics card, it can't handle two HDMI ports. But yeah, I threw on the display port to HDMI and then I kind of tricked into thinking it was a display yeah. port. So I got these running back and eventually I'm gonna be doing a whole cable management video. I just picked up some cable raceways couple scotchies over here. So we're about to screw on the final piece of glass and then we are golden. All right. I'm gonna do one screw at a time with this. There we go. <laughs> that is great. Don't wanna rush it. Final tighten at the end. Then here we go. The last screw. Get them all a little tighten. Oh, dude, that looks so much better now. Seeing that for the first time with that off. And that's the build. Okay, so that concludes part two of the three part series. In the last part, I'm gonna be diving in on a real full in depth review 
on how I found the switch from Mac to PC after doing it for about a week. I go through everything from my experience switching over all the plugins, learning all the new controls, and lastly, just how fast I found the experience to change my editing system and if I like the workflow or not. Before I sign off the video, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section below. What do you guys think about the PC build and what parts do you think are worth upgrading to building the best and fastest possible PC editing system for the best cost? I always strive to bring you guys the best content I possibly can, so your feedback means the world to me. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and if you have any suggestions for future videos, drop that in the comment section below as well. Lastly, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification if you want to be notified for upcoming videos. Till next time, we all have the same 24 hours. What are you doing to maximize it?